Hello guys, this is Engineer Vakas Ahmed and I'm your trainer for project management application tool Primavera P6. So you can learn this skill after your graduation, mid-career level engineer or even if you are experienced level engineer, this skill is going to help you a lot in oil and gas industry, in shutdown management and EPC planning as well. So how to learn, I'm going to give you overview that uh, this is dashboard for Primavera P6. You can open multiple windows. As you can see right now, there is activities window, WBS resources, and might be you don't have any idea what I'm talking about. So first of all, we will go into WBS and you can see that what you will learn that how to develop your project scope. What does it mean by project scope? Project scope means that whatever you have to execute, whatever you have to carry out your task, your everything should be uh, incorporated in your Primavera P6 in the WBS window. WBS means a work breakdown structure one by one and this will be taken by your design and later on by your BOQ. So I will share with you here that where is BOQ. Here we have BOQ. You can see this is my project and in this project I have been given that what I have to do I will just share with you people. This is actually the shape of BOQ you have to uh, incorporate in your Primavera P6 whenever you are at the start or early stage of your scope management. You can see that all these things. And further breakdown, as you can imagine that you are going to read newspaper and there are headings and then there is detail. So same way concept should be uh, memorized that WBS is actually newspaper heading and the detail is here. You can see design and engineering is the heading, design and engineering, but the detail would be here. The smaller task would be incorporated as activities. So we are going to define a, a scope management after that a dependency model. And the next step is to develop activity network diagram, how to relate activities with finish to start, finish to finish, start to start relationships and develop CPM and how to define activities durations. For that, I have to define here a productivity sheet. Here you can see that there are man hour sheet for civil works. There is man hour sheet for mechanical shutdown works. There is electrical and instrumentation works, there is piping works, there is overall sheet, there is a summary sheet. So every activity actually has already been documented that how we can um, define their duration on the basis of their work quantum. After defining this duration and relationships, you will develop activities CPM. And after that, you can also calculate your project progress, S curves, histograms like that in uh, Primavera P6. And you can have the values. It's very fantastic. You can only learn Primavera P6 planning, scheduling, important features. There are too many things. Manually, you should know that how CPM works inside the Primavera P6. P6 algorithm is working on the construction industry basis principles that how to develop CPM. But behind the scenes, you should know that how to change your CPM uh, requirements maybe uh, sometime you are working in the field and your client requirement is not matching what Primavera P6 is producing so you should be very clear that how Primavera P6 CPM is going to work so on the basis of this practical basis you will learn Primavera P6 with engineer Vaka 7 along with Primavera P6 expertise I recommend people on the basis of my 13 years of field experience that you should know industry best practices construction best practices how to define your strategies how to allocate resources, how to define your project requirements. So yes, you are going to get all those things in my upcoming uh, sessions. You should enroll there, which are going to help you in the industry. So don't delay. And along with this session, I'm also helping people to join planning engineer job career from scratch level, from mid career level, from experience level, how you have to write down your good and professional planning engineer CV. You have to prepare for planning engineer job interviews in my 13 years of field experience. I have been uh, gone through a lot of job uh, interviews and now I'm in the position that I'm interviewing a lot of people in the field and I'm also doing freelancing. I can guide you a lot more ways to earn by learning this skill and engineering sector. So this is the best platform for you guys to join planning engineer job career with more industry practices and